Oh, yeah, me don't call family meeting for a relationship with this one. Now, cause it's a custom. So, hello, guys. How are you guys doing? Hope you guys are well. Hope you guys are fine. I hope you guys have voted. For those that have not voted today, I think they will still continue to vote. But I watched something on on online yesterday, and it's terrible that some people are, like, forcing people that tend to vote that if they did not vote for APC, they should go home. I said, ah. Now, like, in fact, I just show on the video. Things can only happen in Nigeria because in a civilized country, if you're not happy, the person that said that we have been arrested, and even police was telling the person to calm down. It's enough to arrest the person. But how can you tell somebody that if you did not vote for the APC, you should go home and relax as per what? As per what? Are you the one to tell who they should vote for? I do one now to instruct who they should vote for. It is their right to vote for whosoever they want to vote for. I don't see Anna. So away from the election. So um Jamie and and Coach, they were having conversation. Of course after the party, I didn't watch the party because I was uh, busy doing something else, you know, for obvious reasons. And um Kosi told Yemi that she don't think they can do this anymore. Rather they should be in an open relationship like uh, yeah, me say, what do you mean open relationship? I know what open relationship means. That means we can be dating and I will still be dating another person. There, there shouldn't be any problem. And she was using blue as an excuse. I was telling Yemi that I know that you still like blue. I know you still want blue. So let us be in an open relationship. And Yemi find it very offensive. Yemi was angry and was like, if you want to break up with me, just break up. I don't want open relationship. I know you like Taban. I know you want to move to Taban. Move to Taban peacefully. Don't use blue as an excuse for you to start doing, uh, for me to agree for us to be in an open relationship so that you can have your way and do whatever you want to do with um, Taban. And Kosi was like, no, there is nothing there. There is nothing like uh, uh, there. Why did you want to be in an open relationship? I know you still like blue. And Yemi was so angry that he decided to call Taban and Blue in their, in their conversation and were like, telling Blue, what did I tell you? And Blue was like, well, say, okay, didn't I tell you that, look, I know I like you, but at this point, I want us to stop whatever we are doing. I want, I want to focus on Kosi. I like Kosi more. And uh, Blue said, yes, he said that. And he said, okay, since I told you that, have we have anything, like anything? And Blue said, no, we haven't. And he said, okay. And Yemi was like trying to say some other thing. And Blue was like, okay, you know what? You guys should just leave me out of this. I don't want to be in part of this conversation. I do not want to be. And she walked away. And I love her. Um, Blue's are mature because if we are to be some guests, oh my, they're not going to say, they're not going to, they're not going to even call. If you want to slap, they will give you. But she was so mature that she handled everything maturely. Because on the other hand, I don't know if she's just trying to, you know, to trend. Because why will you tell him that you want to be in an open relationship? Is that what you guys discussed in the in the beginning? I know that you mess up as well. And you have payback. I think um, you, uh, because she's doing it too much now. I don't just know she's doing it too much. I mean, she, why will you tell him you want to be in an open relationship? And so, Yemi moved to Taban. He asked Taban, I have a conversation with you. I told you that I know you like Kosi. I don't have any problem with that, but didn't I tell you that I like Kosi? Kosi, like uh, we are in relationship. And Taban said yes. Why Yemi was v busy venting, venting his anger for um towards what um Kosi said to him because he told Taban that look, I know you are not the problem. It is Kosi that is the problem. Kosi was busy smiling, looking at Taban and um. And he was, she was smiling, smiling while looking at him, not concentrating on what Yami is saying. So it's obvious that Kosi likes Taban, but she don't want to lose Yemi. That is just my own humble opinion. She likes Taban, but she don't, she don't want to, uh, to lose Yemi probably because of the the game, you know, her strategy. She knows that if she should lose Yemi, her game is over. So I think that is the reason why she's still hanging on with uh, with um, Yemi, knowing fully well that 
she doesn't like this guy that much again. She has, she has now found a new love, which is um um taban. So like Yemi said, see if you don't want this anymore, don't use don't use uh taban as an excuse. Don't no not taban. Don't use blue as an excuse. Just tell me. Let us break up. I don't know this one you are saying open relationship or open open guinea. And the shark because he was angry that that um Yemi involved other people that is um Taban and uh, Blue Ivan in the discussion but it don't be a C B. Moving on to Miracle and Ipelig, of course I told you guys that it's like something is going on between both of them. Kind of a sheep. So Miracle was like I don't Juicy J is not the counsel in terms of relationship and and if you that's because if anybody that has Problem. They will come to Juicy J. What advise us? So Juicy J and Miracle were having conversation, and Miracle like telling Juicy J, "See, I like this girl." Juicy J told him to, "My guy, go, go shoot him. Move on." But at this point, eh, Oga Luke, sorry, oh, me no verse. If Miracle don't decide saying that this girl won't follow, don't just verse. Miracle deserve to be happy after what Kusi did to him. I mean, he deserves to be happy. So, guys, that is all. What do you guys think? Leave your comments in the comment section and do not forget to follow, like, and also share. See you guys in my next video. Bye.